Good morning. It is sing in the morning. We are so happy to be back at the kitchen table. It is 7 a.m. on a Monday morning, and guess what? We are back. We are back in this house for the remainder of this month and next month until all I could think of because there's no other <laughs> things planned to just mess up sing in the morning but um we're just excited to be back if you're watching and you have any prayer requests you guys know the drill please comment below and we would love to pray with you guys throughout this week and even today and also praise reports any testimonies whatever God's doing in your life we would also love to hear that yeah. so uh, so what's up guys it feels so good to be back at our kitchen table right? we took a uh, I don't even know what to call it. I was going to call it a prayer sabbatical where we went for 21 days. We went to church every day for 21 days and we prayed. So we still did sing in the evening, but we did it on site. So there was a lot of distractions and it was fun. It was mm -hmm. different. We had a lot of guests uh, that came in and helped us do like film. So if you want to check that out on my YouTube channel, Life with Jessing, they're all up there. We're on episode 104. What are you looking at? 104. What are you looking at? Nothing. <laughs> so, anyways, we uh, it's just it's good to be back uh -huh. at like our kitchen table, and now we're not distracted. You are though. <laughs> are you distracted by my beauty? I am distracted by your. Beauty. Honestly, I just thought I had something in my teeth, and I'm no, like, I what are you looking you. at? Well, I'm waiting for it to, to pop, but we'll... I have both rubber bands <laughs> in, so hopefully it won't pop my Invisalign. Is that a new thing? No, I didn't wear my rubber bands last night, so I'm gonna wear them today. So you're overcompensating. Yeah. <laughs> Right. Life of Invisalign. Yeah, good morning, Caitlin, Caitlin. and James, up? and Bobby, and Kevin, and Carolina. What is up, guys? Up, guys? Ooh, Caitlin Our and Carolina, I'm going to connect right now. Carolina is getting married in March, and she asked who did my makeup, and I was like, yo, my girl Caitlin. So I gave Carolina your number, Caitlin, and she'll be contacting you for the hookup on the wedding look. You so. know what's great? Our crew is back. Yeah, what's up, this Jenny? This is the 7 a.m. crew. Yeah, the 7 a.m. crew is the realest. Yes, like, we, you know, maybe because we only did it for like a couple minutes in the, the evening, mm -hmm. but we were just like, we miss We it. miss our girls, we miss, yeah. We miss it. I, so, update, we hit our 100th episode over 21 days of prayer, so we've been doing this for since August 8th, I don't know how many days that technically is, but for 100 episodes. It would be, um, a hundred. No, well, never mind. Right. I was going to give a smart comment, but you know. It wasn't that smart? It wasn't that smart. <laughs> what I did on the weekend. I mean, technically, you could do a hundred times. Well, no, because we're, we didn't do it on Saturday and Sunday. So how are you going to calculate that? It's two days. It would probably be like. Uh, I'm bad at math, so Josh, that's going to have to be your, your math. But anyways. It's not important. It's, it's not important. Um, update. Jenny, you're going to love this. So. Our betas are alive. Oh, yes. Things are happening. <laughs> but we now have 17 fish in this house. How did that happen? Can we just go over that really quick? How did that happen? That happened because your husband is a very wise man. Is that what yes, happened? Yes, that's what happened. Because, okay, here's what happened. You all saw the tank. And if you didn't, we have a video that just shows it all in an uh, earlier episode. But it was a 13-gallon tank. And the guy... At the pet store was like, your beta fish need what? 20 gallons per beta. And I was like, that's ridiculous. So what we did instead was we got... <laughs> we got uh, three the, fish. We got three <laughs> betas. I'm going to teach him something. We got three betas, <laughs> one 13 gallon, and we put dividers in it. So they each have their own little habitat. Well, the first day they're there, a little dude on the other side mm -hmm. <laughs> um, sway them over through the divider, through the other divider... And yeah. got the first fish, yep. and it was a fish fight. So the divider didn't really work out. So we used a um, like a Popeye straw. It's Chick Fil A, but yeah. To like make it airtight. Yeah, it didn't work. So, anyways, long story short, Joshua, I didn't like it, <laughs> and I was like, betas don't swim; like they just glide. And I was like, if we're gonna have a fish tank, we need fish. So I got a fish tank. The same 13 gallon, we just got the betas a new home. It's a really cool home they're living in now. But then we got other fish. Yeah, so, now, so, so to fill the 13 gallon, Josh was like, we need 14 fish. I need to see this setup. Well, luckily I can move <laughs> the thing. Well, hey, our small group starts back up on Wednesday at 8 p.m. 
So maybe I should let you not see it so you come to our small group on Wednesday. <laughs> and then you can see it in real life. Okay. Yeah. A little yeah. bribe action over here. No, it, it's a good setup. I'm really happy. I'm pleased with it. I don't know if our betas are too happy because they went from a 13-gallon down to a what? They have like 1.5 gallons each. So they kind, they Luckily, probably hate it. And there's like this like river that like th the flows waterfall. through. And they yeah. hate the current. They hate the current. So I don't think our bet betas are very happy We're with this We just have to put a little plant. I, think like. I don't know. I don't know what to do, honestly. Because it because it, it, it drops down and then it pulls through to go to the second beta's tank. So it's like constant current happening and they they don't like it. But our um, 14 fish, they seem pretty happy. I love my 14 fish. Yeah. I feed them every day. Yeah. We aren't feeding our betas, though. That's, like, that's my fish. job, apparently. Yeah. Oh, those are my fish now? Yeah, you're the one who wanted those. Whatever. Listen. Okay. So, our fish are alive. Updated. The snails didn't make it, though. The so, the bit. snails are gone. They yeah. they didn't make it. We got a little plucko. An algae yeah. eater. Yeah. But you'll have to see that on Wednesday at 8 o'clock. Come to our house for a small group. It's game night, and it's going to be so fun. We're so excited to be back. So Rohit. What's up, man? What's up? He's our friend from Atlanta. <laughs> Love Rohit. Yeah. All right, so let's see. Oh my gosh, Natalia, what's up, girl? She's talking about me. Whatever. <laughs> I know, Natalia. <laughs> yeah, so here's what's going to happen. <laughs> this is all I wear for sing in the morning. This is not for work. <laughs> right, right. So for the last 21 days, we've been working out in the morning, so we've been, like, up and, like, ready to go to be at work by 8 a.m., so, like... We're, we're in this whole morning scene, and I'm so happy to be back with um, light, with Sing in the Morning because 7 a.m. is just, like, better than 7 p.m., and we got our crew, so it's great. The crew is here. Yeah. The crew is here. So here's what we're going to do. What are we going to do? This week, we're going to do 7 a.m., Sing in the Morning, sing so in. tune in every day. Go ahead and start putting your prayer requests, your praise reports down in the comments below. And if you're watching on replay, same thing. We will take in all your prayer requests and we're going to start praying tomorrow over those needs. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're going to do a couple of different things. If there's something that you like want to hear a specific like teaching or word on, comment that with your prayer request as well. And we'll do it. Like if it's, if it's a topic like forgiveness or um, I don't know, what's the first thing that comes to your head when you think of encouraging the people I'll put you on the spot put me on the spot influence influence yeah do uh prosperity yeah yeah so we can do whatever you want to hear we'll make it happen and we'll do one of those videos like once a week this so. blessed life the blessed life <laughs> well hey i'm preaching tonight yeah you are you ready tonight at moderately ready uh, it is going to be at 8 o'clock at the Johnson Center Bistro at George Mason University. So come out. It's a topic that's going to be a little hard. Yeah. And I'm excited because I know that it's it's for me. And it's hopefully going to be for the people that are there because I believe it. So it's going to be a little convicting. I'm excited. Yes. Yeah. All right. Well, let's do the verse of the day. So we go to the U version app and we just click verse of the day and I compared two versions Josh likes the new living translation and I like the message because it's super wordy it reads like a book and I love it because I'm living oh opposed to what opposed to being the, the message, message is talking about how the gospel is the message of the life right the New Living Translation is talking about how the gospel is still speaking to new life today. It's present. I don't get it. So Did you like the message? That's why so, you're there. All my NLTs, can I get an amen? So we're in John chapter 14, verse 1. It says, don't let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God and trust also in me. It's hmm. really to the point. Trust is a hard thing. I can't tell you. You read the NLT. Luckily. That's my read. Because the fish story took up 20 minutes. So we're going to do one verse. <laughs> right, because the NLT is time. about a 15 minute. Uh, or the M. 15 second, yeah. So, <laughs> are you awake? No. You even showered. I showered. Yeah. I got on a full set of clothes today. A full set. Full set. Luckily, he has pants on today, so. It's great. Luckily. 
<laughs> check out our hundredth episode to hear what that means. Um, but yeah, trust is really hard. I just want to control everything and like giving up that trust, that control has been like something that God's like working on me with right now because I can't tell you how hard it is to like do it on my own. But when I give up control and give up and just trust that he knows better, God can see like the beginning and the end. So why wouldn't I trust him? Right. I don't know. You tell me because this is hard. I don't know why it's so hard for me to trust God, but that's true. Don't let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God and trust in also in me. Mm-hmm. It's Jesus talking. And I mean, it's it comes down to the point to where we say we trust God, but do we relinquish our control? Do we relinquish control to him? Do we surrender mm-hmm. to him? And that's, that's the furtherance of trust is that we don't feel like we have to pursue this one thing or we don't have to take control over this. We'll allow him to control it. And so until we can get to that point, and that's a really hard point to get because I don't even think neither of us are a pro at this. No. Is today so, the 28th? Today is the 20-something. Yo, that means February is happening this week. Can you imagine? Yeah, Super Bowl Sunday is this Super Sunday. Super Bowl Sunday. Feb 4th, y'all. Yo. Fourth. Um, I just need to point out, is furtherance a word? I just got stuck on my... Oh, oh my gosh, gosh, Jenny. Jenny, Jenny. we're going to pray right now. In Jesus' what? name, get out of the elevator. What the heck? Well, she's stuck in the elevator, so she can't get... I know, but we're going to pray in Jesus' name that she'll get out of the elevator. Uh, what the heck? That's crazy. Furtherance is a word. Well, it's probably because you're on the phone in an elevator. Isn't that like a thing you're like not supposed no. to be... Yes, it is. No. Yes, it is. That's the plane. No, that's it's airplane. no, it's in an elevator, too. You're supposed to not be on a cellular device. I'm going to Google it. But that's why your, your phone goes like off in the elevator. What? And she's on the phone That's, and is stuck in the elevator, proving my no, point. No, the reason the phone goes off in the elevator is because there's no service because it's inside the shaft. The elevator. Okay, furtherance. Let's look it's that nasty. up. Furtherance. How do you spell that, Josh? Use that in a sentence. I did. It's Take out the E. It's A-N-C-E. Furtherance? It's a word. I don't think it's a word. I'm pretty sure. For shut up, right, Rowan. Rowan, it's it not a word. a word. Josh, I'm. N- you're making up words, and I just. I'm gonna start keeping track because every time it's, you talk, there's a new word that you've made up. It's English, English. It's the Queen's English, guys. Furtherance. Furtherance. Use it in a sentence, please. Furtherance. I did apparently. <laughs> yeah, you gotta go back and listen now. I. Ah, good morning. Pastor Kim. There's and no Sheila. squiggly line at the what? bottom of your note. I mean, it did. My iPad did take it as a as a word, but here's why it could have. Serious. You English. have used it before, and used it for boring. You, like you used it by typing, and then it's now not. It's now a word. But see, here's, my the, iPad. here's the glitch. What? The flaw to your madness of a method. <laughs> this is your iPad. So I know. But I you rarely. Use it. I would. You could snatch it and be like, furtherance. <laughs> but I take furtherance. All right, fine. I'm Googling. No, Here we go. Let's go. Let's see if furtherance. Poor Jenny's stuck in the elevator. Oh, yeah. You're, but- not, <laughs> you're not afraid. Jenny, let us know if you're out of the elevator yet because that's important. But why don't you pray for her and I'm going to look up furtherance? It's not really holy. Good morning, Pastor Kim. Rose Burnell. All right. Well, let's pray. Oh, God, it's a word. It's a word. The advancement of a scheme or interest. Not sure if you used it in the correct context. I used context, it in the correct. You don't even know what you said. All right, but I'm, I know what <laughs> furtherance means. I've used... Acts I'm, in furtherance of an industrial dispute. Luckily. Shoot. Furtherance is a word. Now apologize publicly. I'm waiting. I'm sorry that your vocabulary is off most times, except for today. That's not an apology. Redo. <laughs> I'm sorry that you try really hard to speak English, but don't always get it right. Thank you, Pastor Kim. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. No, I know that's it is what a it word. Rohit, that's exactly what I thought when, when I read the definition. I was like, Josh is scheming. So furtherance would be a word. Be a schemer. Listen here. Furtherance is a word. So all y'all settle down. All right, well, I'm going to take that off your list of not words because apparently furtherance is a word. So, all right, let's pray for Jenny who's stuck in an elevator right I now. I forgive you for not trusting in me. 
But you know, you shouldn't trust in me. Tr- you should right. trust in God. I don't trust God. in human. That was our daily devo for today. Right. So. John 14, verse 1. Yes. Further. Father God, we just pray right now that we just have peace and that you just comfort us and you just provide everything that we need today, Lord, as we just surrender all of ourselves, Lord, and we relinquish our control, Lord, and we just give you full authority over our life, Lord. I pray that we make this an intentional act starting this Monday and that we continue to just put you first above all else. And Lord, I just pray that everyone that is watching, whatever their need is, Lord, first and foremost, we pray for Jenny right now, Lord. We pray that this elevator just starts going, that she's not stuck in there for long, Lord, but just that she sees the blessing whatever it may be in this time lord that maybe she just needs to stop and wait on you and just be patient for whatever it is lord and so we just praise you in the midst of all confusion we praise you in the midst of all things that aren't working out according to our plans and father we just thank you for what you're doing in our life lord and anyone that is watching lord we just pray for a healing touch we pray for physical touch a spiritual touch and a mental touch lord that they just hear your voice even clearer clear now lord and lord i just pray right now that we continue to um trust and believe in you lord we just thank you and we love you in jesus name amen you caught yourself to you know, clear what was it clearer was a word clearer <laughs> but you like paused it's because i'm thinking of my see okay let's, no, pray for, let's all play for <laughs> jessica right now because she's not praying with us and i having was praying for you can pray with your uh, eyes open while you're watching your husband pray no, you can't. Yes, you can. Because you wouldn't be, like, pinpointing every word. I'm going to have you pray from now on. You're going to stop me from praying. I did not say that. I just like your vocabulary. It's very fun to listen to. <laughs> All right. Well, Jenny, I hope you get out of that. <laughs> Thank later. you, Pastor Kim. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. See? Yeah. Kim supports me. My wife doesn't. That's how we're going to end this Speaking of support, I support you. And secondly, go like my page, Life with Jessing, because we are going to be doing our videos on there, but I think more views and more like people can see this one on my page, so I need you to um, like it, okay? Thanks. And subscribe to my YouTube channel. Selfish plug. Shameless plug. Um, I know, see? Tony. I, Tony's my mentor, and he prays with his eyes open, so... This is where I learned it. It's right. Loud. Right. All right, guys. Love you a lot. We'll see you tomorrow at 7 a.m. for Sing in the Morning. What are Sing you doing the to the placemat? You messed them up, so <gasps> I'm just cleaning them up. <gasps> she washed these with bleach, and they're all benched up. Best up. That's not what happened. I washed them in hot water. So get the story straight, and they bled. And apparently, I'm not the one who knows how to do laundry. <sighs> Listen, I, there were stains on the white part, so I thought warm water would take the stains out. And I don't want to talk about it. I'm very bitter, actually. But uh, luckily, my treasure is not in the world. Jeez. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We are a hot mess express, but we are who we are. What happened here? This is sticky. Yeah, it's the thing. All right. Well, this is Sing in the Morning. We will be back tomorrow at 7 a.m. If you guys have any other prayer requests or things that are just happening in your life, please let us know and we'll cover it tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Have a great night or a great day, guys. Peace.